Hello everyone, welcome back. As part of the previous lecture, we have seen how exactly we can read the data from a CSV file. In continuation with that, what I'm going to do right now is read the data from a CSV file and pass the data as part of your post request. That's what I want to do. So let me copy this particular post request stuff that we have created earlier and paste it again. So I'm just giving a scenario tag name as a post data too. And here, if you observe the data that we are passing here is from a scenario outline. I know that read followed by the CSV file name will read the complete CSV information. What I can do is whatever the data my request needs in, I can create a CSV file with that particular data and I can pass on that information. So let me create a simple Excel file and show you that. So if you consider this example, this example needs a name, a salary and an age. So here name, salary and an age. I'm giving a name as a Madhu one and the salary as a sum value. Okay, I'm just giving as a salary as a sum value and an age as a sum value. The similar way Madhu to salary as a sum value and an age as a sum value. While saving this file, the only chunk that I'm going to do is I'm going to save this extension with a CSV file. That's the first thing. And the second thing that I want to do is let me save this file within this project location itself so that it will be easy for us to access that information in the runtime by our program. So here I'm trying to save this information in this location with a name as a book3.csv file. Okay, let me save it. Okay, I just saved this particular file. Close this file. And it's asking us to save it completely. Yeah, perfect. I did a same. Now, the complete data, whichever our request needs in, it's there in a CSV file. I know that a read followed by a CSV file name will read the information. Copy this read line or else directly in an example, I'm giving a read book three dot CSV. Okay, let me pass on this code. So here, book three dot CSV, that's it. So it means whatever the data you need to pass on for this particular examples, this will be from this CSV file. Okay, this data should come from a CSV file. That's it. Read book 3csv Now, this is what scenario that I have created. Copy this tag name and just give this tag name here and let me try to run the script as a JUnit test. So I'm just executing this test script. Let's see. So here, if you see the console, we are getting a failed response. And what would be the reason? Could not read the file or find the file. Okay, so let me refresh my project once and check out. The file name is a book3.csv. I can see it in a project folder location. And here, book3.csv. Let me cross-check the name, whether I have a given the appropriate name or not. Read book3.csv. Okay, the information is correct. Let me read the script once again and cross it. Okay, so I'm just executing this chunk now. And now if you observe, okay, some synchronization issues might be there. So that's the reason it was not executed earlier. So if you see right now, the two scenarios were executed out of which two were passed. And this is what the success response that it's being displayed here. Okay, so whenever you want to deal with a multiple sets of a data in a real world, either you can pass on the data as part of a scenario outline, or if you want to read that information explicitly from a CSV file, this is the methodology how exactly you can read the information from a CSV file, guys. Good. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye. -bye.